Cool. Hello and welcome to Director's Debrief, episode 10. For some reason today, the audio is coming through extra clear and that's making me very happy. Uh, actually, bef- bef- cool. I was just checking that they were separated. Mm-hmm. How's life, man? Life is good. Life yeah. is good. It's interesting. As Ram said just before the episode started, mm. Every day is different. Every day That's what is inspires different. him. That's what inspires me. Yeah. yeah. Should we just leave it at that? That's yeah. this episode That's 10. Rams wise words. Whatever you want Every to take Every day from inspires that. you. <laughs> um, no, actually something interesting on that, because I've been speaking to people about being um, a morning or a night person. Hmm. What would you say you are? Are you more of a morning person or more? Uh... Uh, I'm definitely not a morning person. You're not? No, I'm okay. definitely not one. Um, I mean, I can be productive in the morning if I want to get going, but I, I do love sleep. As you, you do know, love sleep, yeah. um, and I do struggle to to get there. I'm getting better at my 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 nighttime routine and stuff like that. So it's getting there. How about okay. you? Always. Mm. No, I tell you what, I haven't always been a morning person because mm. I was just thinking back to uh, when I worked in London. Um, I worked with uh, one of my closest friends, Anya, and getting like she had her morning routine. She'd be up early, getting ready for the day, and all that stuff. And we used to leave at. Um, I want to say either quarter to eight or quarter past eight. Mm-hmm. Fifteen minutes before that, the the situation facing my room and the bathroom was a scary one. Okay. Because it would just be slam door open, run into bathroom, shower, run back into room, get changed, get dressed, and bolt out the door, usually a little bit mm-hmm. late. Yeah. Um, that little bit. Like, just yeah. a little. Like that little bit can stretch from two minutes to 20. Yeah. <laughs> um, but in, in recent times, I don't know, I've, I've definitely find myself more of a morning person because the nights I, 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 I do love sleep. Yeah. You recently, you converted me into a sleep mm-hmm. lover. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's one of my proudest moments. <laughs> I just realized what that sounds like, yeah. calling you, saying that you turned me into a, a no, I sleep I hope I lover. did. I bet I. Yeah? yeah? All right, fair better. enough. Yeah. <laughs> We're just running with this. <laughs> um, but I, I don't know, I, I struggle to burn the midnight oil now. Maybe I'm getting old. Maybe I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, but I do just feel a time where my brain switches off. Mm-hmm. But in the morning, I am, you know, full battery. Uh, I've, I find it relatively easy to get up super early. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've always been more of a, a morning person. Interesting. I find my mind, I, I, I love the early nights and things like that. But yeah. for some reason, my mind decides to think knowledge is power at about 11.45 and it doesn't stop it loves like taking new articles reading new things yeah. don't know if it's procrastination to not sleep probably is a bit of yeah. that but it just loves learning at that time do you know what uh, sleep revenge procrastination is no tell me it's this thing that um, there's better ways like I would google this rather than take my word for it but my understanding is that it's it's your mind's like revenge on your productivity. Okay. So like, let's say you want to spend an hour scrolling through Instagram, but you're like, I've got to get this done. Mm. I've got to get this done. And then you want to go to bed and your brain is just like, hey, come on, man. We were going to, we were going to do Instagram. Yeah, What's up? Right. Um, and so you, uh, you replace sleep with procrastination. Okay. Because you're not really, procr- you're not stopping yourself from doing something apart from sleeping. Mm-hmm. So it's like your mind's revenge. It's like, no, no, you promised me we were going to, you know, scroll through Twitter, scroll through Instagram. So we're going to do that right now. And it does, you do it before you sleep and it inhibits your ability to sleep. Oh, that's interesting. It's, and I think that, yeah. That's scarily true as well. <laughs> <laughs> sleep yeah. is something though that, we, you know, we can, we can talk until the cows come home. But mm-hmm. I'm just curious about, uh, you're very pro sleep. You're very pro getting the right amount of sleep. Something you and I clashed heads on for a long time is you were like, qual- quantity is very important. I was like, it can be displaced by quality. I've admitted I was wrong because I tried to go by with like four to five hours of good sleep. Yeah. Got like an air purifier, the right mattress, whatever. It didn't work mm-hmm. um, because eight hours of sleep a night for about two weeks, the, the, day, the day after, I woke up feeling like I haven't felt in like seven years. Yeah. I genuinely, I was, I was alert. I was ready for the day. I was excited about mm. the day. Um, I was like, I lacked excitement for the day, but it was just waking up like that. Like, yeah. Boom. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is that something you've gone through? Yeah, completely. So I I went through the whole thing of not thinking sleep was required. Um, I would have caffeine too late at night, things like this. <laughs> I went through all that process and thinking I was invincible because especially when you're young, you're just, you just think that none of that touches you. Oh, it's a myth that caffeine, like caffeine affects your sleep. You know, I fall asleep fine. I fall asleep fine, but my quality of sleep was, was not there. Yeah. And you talk about quality of sleep and like four to five hours of good quality sleep is great. And to a certain extent, you're absolutely bang on. Mm. 
But how do you force yourself into a state of good quality sleep other than an air purifier and, and things like that? It's very hard. By the way, it did nothing for me. <laughs> okay, purifier. yeah, cool. But you tried, you yeah. tried. Um, it's best to uh, kind of increase your probability. But the in my eyes, the best odds of getting a good, good night's sleep is putting yourself in that position away from distractions and allowing your body to naturally put yourself into a state. Maybe you only need four or five hours of it, mm. but you wouldn't know until you actually you turn your way away. Where's your phone when you sleep? It's next to me. It's next to you. Yeah. But oh, yeah. but I put it on a dock now. Okay. So when it goes on... Okay, I have a, here's a little bit of a thing. I have a little bit of OCD about when I uncharge something. So it has to be on an even number. Okay. I Yeah. Three years I've known yeah. you. This is the first time I've Okay, known you know when you're like, Ash, we need to get on with something or we need to go upstairs and I'm like waiting a minute, but I'm doing absolutely nothing. You've is seen that it. What I, you're doing? That's what I'm doing. I thought. Yeah. I thought you've like just sent a Slack and you're no, waiting for the reply. I'm pretending that I am, but some chances are it could happen. The yeah. odd occasion, that's that's true as well. But no, the, the chances are I'm like, oh man, I'm so calling you. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> you had a meeting right at eleven today, yeah. and I I couldn't leave because it was ten fifty nine. I should have left <laughs> at ten fifty nine, but I didn't. I don't know what it is. I'm not a superstitious guy, but I guess I am in a few things in life. All right, that's um, cool. Yeah. We all have our things. So anyway. Yeah. back to where we were right so I have that little moment of uh, I can only unplug or discharge so I've listened to all those those podcasts and read those articles where leave your phone out, leave your phone outside your room yeah. it doesn't work for me for a few things you know if we get a security call at night I need my phone near me okay. um, if we if I get an emergency call I want it to ring through to me you know anyone they can just get through to me if they need to yeah. and my alarm you know, it measures my sleep, it does all of that stuff. So really important to me. So I was like, okay, it's not gonna work for me to just keep my phone outside my room, yeah. but I need to know not to touch it. So I looked at what I do. I like to not touch something when it's um, when it's charging yeah. um, for the reasons I said. So I put it onto a dock. So once it's on the dock, mm. I can't really touch it. Yeah. It's not easy because it's, it's like, yeah, numbers. It, it would be the end for everything, yeah. right? Unless it was an emergency, then I'd forget about that. But that was my way of, not touching my phone. Oh, smart. i got to give that to you. Yeah, it's um, a bit weird, but yeah, yeah. we'll go. <laughs> uh, Ram can edit this out if you don't want to uh, want this out in the public, but you also drive an electric car. Mm-hmm. Is, does the same rule apply? Because I think that's like, yeah, does it have to, what, what do you care about? The range or the percentage? Okay, <laughs> it's a very good question. Yeah. So it, I care about when my phone is on charge in the car. Okay. But for some reason, I've allowed the car to just... I do what I do with the car. Okay. Yeah. And I wish you hadn't have mentioned that to me because now... <laughs> I have no idea about this. Now I'm, uh, now I'm going to be spending a minute longer than I should at home. Yeah. I don't know why I do it. Someone told me it was cool or someone did it and then I started doing it and then I couldn't go back. Yeah. And I don't know. I just feel it's like it keeps me in balance. So yeah. that's my way. But utilize what you've got and yeah. uh, that's what I did there. What about, because this is an area that I'm particularly interested in. Now, I'm, I'm this close to making an investment in this. Um, oh, what are you going to say? No, I was just going to ask you, do yeah. you keep your phone next to you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's one of the things that I'm looking to change uh, okay. very soon. I was just making sure you weren't judging me for keeping my phone next God, to you. God, no. Yeah. God, no. Like, my phone, like, yours is at least next to you. Mine's yeah. in my bed. Okay. Um, no, it's it's something that I, I listened to a podcast with Stephen Ball and Johan Mari, who wrote the book Stolen Focus, mm. uh, which is a book I, I'm very keen to get to. Um, but the, he talks about this, uh, like a safe. It's made of plastic and you set a timer on the safe. Really, okay. really smart stuff because it's plastic. In the event mm. of emergency, smash it. It's not going to cost you that much. Smash it, grab your phone, do your thing. Yeah. Um, but until then... It's not going to let you have your phone. It's not like the restrict access thing where you literally tap ignore limit and it unlocks it. Shit feature, by the way. Yeah. You tap ignore limit. It is limit, a terrible feature. <laughs> and then you're in. That's yeah. it. That's all it took. That's the resistance. I want my phone against... to lock me out of everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want I want it to, I want consequences for my actions. Yeah. I want it to like withdraw, <gasps> app idea. I yeah. want it to put like take 50 quid out of my account, put it in like a savings or something every time. I, I like that. So yeah. it's not actually taking money away from you, but it's, yeah. it's kind of penalizing you today, Sam, yeah. or tomorrow, Sam. Exactly. I like that. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, somebody make that. No, no, I'm no, no, no. Anymore. Cut that out, Ram. We're what? making that. Are we making that? <laughs> I think right. somehow, some way. Okay, yeah. fair enough. We'll get uh, some web developers on this, but uh, web de- some designers. Um, but yeah, this safe is brilliant because you put it in, it locks your access, mm. and th- there is a consequence for uh, denying 
the box, you have to smash it to get back at it. Okay. And so you're not going to do it unless, like you say, like something happens here, we need yeah. to get contacted. You will smash the phone if there's a fire, whatever. Mm. Uh, aside from that, you're pretty much locked off. You see an email that you're like, I should reply, but yeah. realistically I can tomorrow. You're going to reply to it tomorrow. Or you grab your laptop. But yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're so ready. Um, so yeah, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm trying... As I've talked about countlessly, uh, I've deleted the Instagram application from my phone. I very much intend on deactivating my account. Mm. Um, that's something where I, I put an external measure in to prevent me. But at some point, I'm going to have to answer to myself of like, I need the discipline. Yeah. Like, I should just not use Instagram because I don't want to use Instagram today. It shouldn't be like, oh. I'm... A hack. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so I'm reluctant to buy the case. Um, and a couple of times I've tried to leave my phone a bit further out. Mm. It's also from the standpoint of I want to get up to turn off my alarm. Yeah. Because it makes such a difference. Genuinely about 20 minutes to a half an hour uh, whereby I can wake up, pick up my phone and laze about. And I, I know it hurts my eyes. Yeah. I don't know, like, you're, again, family of opticians, but I, yeah. I don't know how, but it really... It feels bad. Yeah, yeah, of course. First thing I look at yeah. is light projected into my eyeballs. That can't be good. Mm -hmm. um, but when I get up, turn the alarm off and go shower, I don't know, it's, it's a lot more of a, a gentle start to my day rather than, oh, my retinas. Yeah. And then I'll stay here for 20 minutes before yeah. I... Do you, do you, get, you get a guilty feeling as well? Because I do, I do the same. I yeah. sometimes like quickly just check my emails. And yeah. I'm like, this is not a good way to start my day. I'm yeah. doing it anyway. It's not even a good way to check your emails. Yeah. If you get up and then like shower and then open your laptop and go through your emails, that's great. Yeah. Because your full attention is to the people that are emailing yeah. you. And in that moment, you can actually act on it. Whereas if you're like half asleep in bed, it's not like you're going to see it. You're going to see a bad email or a scary email and do anything about it? Yeah, really. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, no, it's an interesting one. But I, I'm still very intrigued by the whole life hack thing because um, whilst it doesn't solve your underlying issues, there's no doubt there, there are little things that I've been reading up on to kind of help. Like I said, the little thing that I do with my phone, keeping it in the dock. Yeah. Um, I like little things because it turns it into a habit. Yeah. Like uh, in my car, I there's a thing that you can, if you put your headrest slightly higher mm. um, and your mirror, so your rear view mirror and you angle it yeah. so that it's slightly higher, it means that you have to keep your posture um, upright. And oh, I, I've shit. started to do little things like that. Obviously, you know, posture is really important to yeah. me. It's something I'm trying to improve on. Yeah. And little things like that. And it, it's made a big difference because yeah. I realized that every time I can't see properly in the rear view mirror, it's because yeah. I'm, I'm slouching. Oh, um, that's brilliant. Yeah. I need to do that on long car journeys because I'm not even kidding you. The car journey starts off when I drive to like Manchester or something. The yeah. car journey starts off like this, but I have cruise control. Yeah. Best and worst invention ever because what it ends what it ends up as by the end of the journey is cruise control is on, so it's just this, and then I found a way if I pull my seat. If I pull my seat far enough forward, yeah. I can wedge my arm to hold the wheel. So I don't even have to think about holding the wheel. Okay. It's my arm's trapped there. Yeah. And I just sit there for two hours and it gets me to Manchester. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it's it's terrible. Yeah. Uh, but I know what you do. Obviously, it's, it's your own version of cruise control. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like two yeah. hours of like that. Yeah. It's like, that's not good. Okay. It's not good. Yeah. Um, no, definitely. So, I, I mean, I've been doing that for a couple of months. Um, obviously, as I said, posture, trying to improve my posture and things like that, especially with, we're on computers all day, man. Yeah. Everyone is. Um, so how can we improve on little things like that? It's, it's car. I'm in the car for an hour a day. Yeah. Like, got me yeah. thinking about my posture now. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone suddenly, as soon as you talk about posture, is like sitting <laughs> upright, looking all confident. But no, it's good. And you notice it in other people. It's a really big um, uh, kind of thing for, for girls, especially. Like they love a man with good posture. So just teasing that to you there, that Thanks, suddenly you're going to come in like... <laughs> <laughs> that's how you're going to convince me, huh? <laughs> With a wire behind your back. But yeah, no, that's life hacks. Life hacks yeah. are good. Have you yeah. read Atomic Habits by James Clear? I haven't, no. Because you, have you've been reading more recently, I feel. Mm -hmm. You've been mentioning. Um, yeah. That one's right up there because he talks about um, leveraging habits to change you as a person. Okay. Not to quit smoking, but to become no longer a smoker. Right. Um, and the habit starts from tiny things. I think one of the examples he uses is brilliant for a girl who wants to go to the gym every single day of the year. I think this is documented. I don't know her name, but she wants to go to the gym every single day of the year. Mm -hmm. Probably an unhealthy habit, but a difficult challenge and a fun one nonetheless. Yeah. Uh, and her daily mission was not to go to the gym. It was to go out and hail a cab. I think she lived in New York. She said, as long as I've gone out and I've hailed a cab in the morning, I am successful. 
I have done what I need to do. Okay. But here's the thing. You get out, you get in the cab in your gym clothes. What are you going to do? Say circle the block and I'm yeah. going to go back home? You're, you've, you're committed. Yeah. And there's tiny little things like uh, Ali Abdal's two minute rule. I'll do it for two minutes or I'll wash up one dish. Chances are you're not going to wash up one dish and walk away. Yeah. You're going to do the rest. But it's hard to commit to doing the dishes. Yeah. It's easy to commit to one dish. You don't realize the other rest will take you 30, 40 it's seconds. such a brilliant, brilliant theory. I started doing that with house stuff. I've, and like I've started maintaining my flat a lot better um, just because like I can convince myself I'll do it for two minutes yeah um, something before we diverge too far from sleep that I wanted to ask you mm-hmm. uh, again this is something that I want to spend a little bit of money on yeah I've been thinking about it. I know you've d- dabbled in this is um, like diagnostics and like yep. monitoring and tracking mm-hmm. um, you tried uh, a band yeah a whoop whoop yeah W-H-O-O-P yeah, yeah. Um, Re- really doing very well in really? the states yeah so you didn't commit uh, I don't think that's a negative reflection on the product. I think maybe it wasn't because compa- I know people who have been using it for years and they yeah. love it. How yeah. come you stopped? Um, so I'll firstly start with how I got into journey, it. So yeah, yeah um, the founder's name has completely gone um, out of my mind, but he's a great founder, um, and I have him on Twitter, of course. Of course, and he's course. always con- constantly talking about performance, um, Will recovery. Ahmed. Will Ahmed, that's the one. Um, so yeah, he, he's talking about performance. He talks about recovery a lot, and I love that. Yeah. Because that's exactly what you're doing in your sleep. You're uh, creating your recovery for the next day. Mm-hmm. So I started to look into it. Whoop was pretty reasonable. There is a monthly membership fee, but I thought, you know, rather than an Apple Watch or anything, which is a bigger upfront investment, I thought I'd try this, and it was a bit different. Was there a cost for the watch, or was that no, incorporated? No, no cost, oh. so it was a membership fee. Okay. Um, which was steep if you do take into account a whole year, but I tried it for a couple of months to give it a go anyway. I wanted to see if it benefited me, but it was around the time I had my, my back injury. Oh. Um, so I just bought this this watch and I immediately got injured. Yeah. So I wasn't... I wasn't Clearly going to, it was the watch. Yeah. Well, again, here comes Ash Superstitious Ash, like, yeah. oh, forget the watch. And uh, no, that wasn't the reason I got No, no, it's because it. you disconnected it at 97%. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, so I shouldn't have told you that I knew. But, I, know. Um, I told you I'm going to call you yeah. out on it. <laughs> and uh, so I, I tried it. It was very good, but unfortunately, because I wasn't um, exercising at that moment, not for much at all, other than odd stretches, it just I kind of I wasn't using it to its max cap- uh, capability. So I kind of got bored with it. And this is where I should have stuck it out because when I did recover and I was back to the gym and um, kind of rehabilitating or whatever you say, um, yeah, yeah I sh- it, it would have been very good for me, but. Maybe maybe I will join join back again in the future. It's um, okay. Were there anything that attributed to sleep? Any stats? Amazing, f- fantastic stats. One okay. of the best I've seen. Um, my brother has a Apple Watch, so I was comparing some of the stats there. So it's so far that I didn't even understand the full stats. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, it was just like there was a lot in there that I needed to take some some time to actually educate myself on. Yeah. Um, but it's all talk, it was kind of talking about in your day. So today you may be gymming. Um, you may be lifting a few boxes around the uh, warehouse as well, just give the, the team a bit of a hand and spend some time with them. Mm-hmm. Um, and you may be walking around uh, here, there, and everywhere. So it takes into account everything and all your movements during the day. And well, Ahmed, I'm probably oversimplifying this, uh, if you're listening, of course. <laughs> but it's taking into account everything you're doing through the day, and then it measures how much sleep you need based on your performance during the day. Okay. So it starts to actually... You know, people say, oh, seven to eight hours, and you say four to five, or that. It starts to give you some backing and some scientific proof behind why you need X amount um, going forward. So, yeah, I, yeah, don't take my, me quitting, I guess. (laughs) We're all human. I quit, I guess, on this. Um, as a bad thing for this, I, I genuinely did like like the product. Yeah. No, that's amazing. Um, mm. But as we always, not always, but quite consistently say to to clients, because we're we're a data driven company, and a lot of clients are like, oh, well, they'll ask, are you a data driven company? We're like, of course. But ultimately, we know what's more important between data and decisions derived from I love data. Because yeah. yeah, there's there's infinite amounts of data, but means fuck all. If you do, it, don't yeah. do anything with it. Yeah. Uh, I regret swearing because we could have reeled that. But <laughs> um, <laughs> no. yeah. So you were saying, oh, like it gave you so much data, it was a bit complicated. Did yeah. it change any habits of yours? Again, I, I, I can't speak for that too because I, it was too short a period. Um, and I really wish, I don't know why, I think I stopped it because I was like, you know what, I'm paying all this money at the moment and I'm not in my peak gym yeah. performance, so it's just not not worth my time. But yeah, uh, they've just released a version 4, I believe. So okay. they keep releasing new versions of yeah, the watch. Yeah. Um, again, no cost to it, you're just on a subscription. Um, so... Perhaps down the line, I'll give it a go because there's a lot more that it's taking into account. Yeah. used to measure things such as your heart rate. And based on that, I could tell if you had early signs of COVID. 
and it was proven that this was actually very wow. effective. Yeah, so the science behind the watch was incredible. Yeah. This was no like oversimplified smartwatch. This was um, really good technology. It was simple. It was waterproof. So it was just you felt you could wear it all the time. Um, but you're absolutely right on that. Maybe that's one of the reasons I, I gave up with it as well as I, the app looked cool at the start. Yeah. So much information. It was measuring everything. But really, how much was I taking from that? Just how many hours of sleep I needed and uh, not too much more. I fell down that spiral because the thing I'm looking at right now is the Aura Ring. Yeah. Uh, you've heard of this? Yeah, yeah. all right. Um, it's something that I, funnily enough, and, and this is just proof to the world that uh, sponsorship and, and th- basically promotion deals like that work. Yeah. Because uh, I'm a huge Formula One fan. They have an affiliation with the Red Bull Racing team. Okay. I saw, uh, and I'm trying to get over a certain insecurity of mine where I accessorize a little bit more. Um, How do you spell it? A-U-R-A? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you meant insecurities. I was like, I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, uh, yeah, I saw this and I was like, that's that's a good like bridge for me. Yeah. Like I can have a reason to wear it. And also I want to start wearing a few more rings, start trialing that part. Yeah. Um, and so. How many rings do you want? Like huh? all over? Yeah, man. I yeah. want the infinity gauntlet. All right, here he comes like bling bling yeah. right there. <laughs> no, do you know what? How I, I genuinely look at people who wear rings like Ram um, and I think a few others in our team, when they wear rings, again, because of this insecurity, I see it as a act of confidence. Mm. I have a huge admiration. It's so, uh, you're, you're laughing at me, right? But it's such a random thing to me. Nobody else thinks like this, but I'm like, I get it. I see it as an act of confidence and I'd love to have that. It's a great perspective. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the Aura Ring, I was comparing that to like an Apple Watch and I've had an Apple Watch in the past and mm-hmm. I didn't necessarily, I had a version one Apple Watch. So oh, wow. Yeah, one I didn't necessarily, yeah. do you know what that is, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I promise yeah. I'll stop doing that once you're, uh, once you're 18. We used to have normal watches before. Okay. I had a version one Apple Watch and I was comparing like what information you get out of the Aura Ring compared yeah. to the Whoop and compared to the um, the Apple Watch. Yeah. Aura Ring, Apple Watch and, and Whoop. And I was looking at it and I was like, actually the um, one thought I had was the Aura Ring gives me the most amount of information that I want, but arguably the least information of those three. Okay. I was like looking up like the lists and stuff. And that's kind of why I was like, I still want the Aura Ring. Mm. And I was trying to put myself in our like client's shoes of like, what data do you have? It's like, it's not the data. Yeah. It's the data I need and the data I can act upon. Absolutely. And uh, the Aura Ring is, is centered around sleep, I believe. So that's one thing that I, I'd love to know how I'm doing sleep wise. Mm-hmm. This is actually, do you think, do you honestly think the world knows how they sleep or if it's good enough for a healthy life? or good? Yeah, I, life? Well, I was surprised. So for example, when I did have the whoop, I was, um, still occasionally having the odd caffeinated drink quite late in the day. Yeah. And okay, you can over-examine it and you don't know for sure if that was the reason you're asleep or you had less REM sleep or, um, or deep sleep and so on, so on. But I was certainly seeing some correlation there where I was like, mm. why was why was I um, waking up a lot more in the night? I didn't realize I was. Yeah. Um, and I started to look backwards and think of what the habits that I was doing. Oh, maybe I was on my phone before bed or something like that. And when, when I had the best sleep, it was really interesting to see certain things I did during the day. So um, I think the world is starting to measure their sleep a lot more yeah. uh, through all these things, as we said. We, uh, Apple Watch obviously being the main one, uh, even their iPhones are now measuring it. Yeah. You know, if you don't touch your iPhone, which make, is a good way to measure it. Um, what I don't think people are doing yet is measuring the reasons for the differences in sleep. Right, so the caffeine, that's why I woke up. Yeah, yeah. and I'm not saying I, I know anything about my own, my own habits, but I think there needs, there, maybe there is already something out there that starts to measure things during your day. Maybe mm-hmm. you log it. Um, maybe it just takes into a certain, certain things um, to kind of figure out the best way to get good quality sleep during the day. Yeah, yeah. I, I think this... Um you convinced me anyway about sleep, but what mm. kind of got me thinking about, do I actually know how well I'm sleeping, uh, is Jill, who, uh, who's been with us for a couple of months now, has uh, she's very big on drinking water, water yeah. regularly. Mm-hmm. Somebody in the team gave her a bell, so she rings the bell when she wants us to drink yeah. water. Amazing thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it has got me drinking more water. And then she said something just in a passing comment of like, well, if you don't drink it, you're going to wake up at night and drink it. I was like, 
is that why I have to have a bottle of water by my bed? Yeah. And like, I, I wake up, every, I realize I wake up every night to drink water mm. and I don't drink water throughout the day. This is my third cup of coffee. I have had maybe a third of this in terms of water. Yeah. Um, I do notice a difference now. I don't get up like... When you wake up and see the bottle full, I immediately think, oh, I must have drank water during the day. Mm. And that's when I started to think, actually, I've had this like thing in my back, like just lower, lower back. I've had this pain that flares up every now and again yeah. and that we've talked about. And then it goes away. And when I stand in certain positions, when I sit in certain positions, it hurts. Um, and the other day, uh, actually the other day, last night, mm. um, I was up pretty late and I, I was out at my desk. I've got a very nice chair. I'm very blessed in there. Very nice chair, very nice desk. Um, in fact, the chair is designed for like ergonomics. It shouldn't be a yeah. problem to sit at for a, a extended periods of time. I was sat there and I was typing and I just had this stabbing pain down my shoulder. And that's when I went to sleep. I was like, this is where I, when I, I know I have yeah. a problem here. But it was just a stab. And I'm just curious, like I'm healthy in many other regards. I've, I've started eating pretty well. I yeah. exercise on a regular basis. And like, I, I'm not really feeling the benefits. The one, the two things, sorry, that I've narrowed it down to um, is sleep. And supplements. Okay. Because I don't think my food gives me everything that I need. Obviously, we've got Huel as well. Mm. But something that my, my brother had a conversation with a friend uh, who lives, I want to say in like Malaga or somewhere in Spain with access to open water. Yeah. And uh, they were, my brother's big on Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and they're talking about nutrition. My brother goes, uh, he was talking about supplements. He's like, oh, yeah, no, supplements. I, I eat, uh, I have this, that, and omega 3. And uh, the guy looks at him and he goes, omega 3? He goes, yeah, what do you do when you need to get omega-3? He's like, I eat fish. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> they have access to such high quality fish. And, it's just and naturally so, in their diet. There's no need for it. Yeah. yeah. And I don't think there's like, you know, there's not like a crisis in the yeah. British food or whatever. I just don't think they're as packed full of nutrients as other countries might be. Mm. Um, and so I think supplements is also a big deal. I don't think I get everything I need. Have you, um, obviously we've spoken before about my fitness pal. So some kind of logger. Have you ever tried utilizing these apps? Yeah, for about a day. Yeah. I immediately like frowned when you said uh, the whoop, if they include like attributes as to why you didn't sleep well, yeah. like somebody logs it. I was like, I can see you. Maybe it's just me, but I can see people, a lot of people dropping off from that. Yeah, sure. Um, but what it, see, I agree with you to a certain extent, to a certain extent, but what I found with my fitness pal is I am not logging my food every single day of every single hour. Okay. But even if I'm able to do it for a couple of days, mm. It highlights to me certain habits that I didn't realize otherwise. So, for example, when I was doing my fitness pal, there's the main macros that you're seeing. So you're seeing how many carbs you would eat in an average week, your protein, and so on. And so easy to lock. Like it's unbelievably easy. The, yeah, it yeah. is a brilliant app. I will say. Yeah. That. And but then what I started to see from there as well is my vitamins and things that I was taking into account. So I was like, oh, actually, my vitamin D is is fine. Like, yeah. I was, I was here. I was thinking that I needed strong supplements, but I'm actually way above my recommended daily allowance. So I'm, I'm in healthy levels. Yeah. But then certain things I was lacking in omega threes, for example. I'm obviously vegetarian, mm. so there's certain omega threes that I simply can't get hold of in uh, food. So. Things like this, it was just a good way in a short period of time. Mm. Okay, it's not accurate to the 10th degree, but at least I was able to figure out where I was with things. And that would be my rec recommendation. And even back going back to the sleep thing, if there was a way to just log it for a little bit, yeah, then I started to realize, okay, caffeine does impact my sleep when I had it at nine o'clock. And I don't, I don't touch caffeine really after three or four o'clock unless mm. I'm going to the gym yeah. because it's just not something that I need to be having in my... It's a very good point because I've just, uh, it's just hit me now. Uh, I went through a phase where I was, uh, I was at your, your gym, uh, yeah. Transformation Fit. Um, I was going to, I think three classes a week. I was exercising the most I, I've ever done. Those classes are insane. I can't believe you still do it. They're yeah. so, so challenging. Good, right? yeah. they're, they're great, yeah. uh, but they're very intense. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was like a uh, weight loss program. So it was very high cardio. It was very high, like movements designed to help you lose weight. Yeah. But I figured I'm still lifting weights. I'm still doing that. Um, and I was, I was eating quite healthily and I was losing weight, but that wasn't my goal. Yeah. I was trying to put on some muscle. Yeah. Um, and I, that's what highlight my fitness pal. I was like, surely I'm getting X amount of calories. Mm -mm. I was no. getting like 900. Yeah. I was like, this is crazy. And I started getting really, really skinny. And just a couple of days of logging it on my fitness pal, I started to see actually my carb amount is very low. Yeah. I'm eating and I need carbs yeah. uh, to bulk up. Um, protein was relatively okay, but just calories in general. Yeah, yeah. I think it was like 900 I was having. Right, it was crazy. yeah. So now, it, so I assume you no longer use fit, minor fitness pal or not that regularly. No, um, I'm a lot more conscious of 
of the macronutrients of sure. what I'm eating. Yeah. But I don't. I have a daily tally of protein and carbs. Yeah. But uh, I, and it was because of that moment, I assume, or some moments like that, that you start to realize that this yeah. is what you need to do. Yeah. And that's that's the kind of the essence of it. No one can really, unless you're like training for like muscle championship heavy lifting, like yeah. it's just not necessary to log every single thing. But just a bit of education through mm. yourself is, is. I think that's that goes miles. So. I think that's yeah. it. Yeah, it's a very good. I think this conversation has just helped me because the Aura Ring is a subscription. You get six months free, but you pay, yeah. I think, two nine nine dollars mm-hmm. um, I think that's kind of just pushed me over the edge because I'm like, even I'm worried I won't use it for that long. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, even if I use it for a month and it tells me, your sleep is terrible. I'm like, that's why my back aches. Yeah. If I can figure out my, like, if I can get rid of this back pain, yeah. 299 is nothing. Yeah, yeah, of um, course, yeah. Until I thought about it just then, I was like, you know, yeah. it's, it's a lot of money. Ultimately. Mate, you know what we need to do as well? Both of you see, <laughs> we both seem to be having a bit of back pain is Pilates. Yeah. Um, I've been hearing a lot about this, man. Do, do, have, yeah. Like, I, I, again, Chris jokes about not liking to do manual labor. I've seen him do some, he's been doing Pilates for a while. Yeah. I've seen him lift some real heavy stuff yeah. in awkward positions. Pilates is the one. It's the one. Yeah. So there's a bit, again, a big um, kind of, yeah, there's a big thing that, um, kind of pilates is for is for your yummy mummy legs bums and tums kind sure, of um, sure. thing which is which is great but i think <laughs> and chris and i joked about this we were like if they just like renamed it yeah like power core or yeah. core power something along those lines i think ab blaster, was ab blaster that's yeah. that's there i think you know this could be insane for the brand of pilates because mm. and it's not like some people are hiding away from it. i'm not sure i'll go to a pilates class but at yeah. the same time it would change the game of how important core is for people in development because especially young people like mm. we sat at office desks on our laptops sometimes yeah. which is already you so see you sat at a desk not great a laptop again adding even yeah. more incline to you um day in day out people are now working from home they're on their beds with no back support this is terrible <laughs> yeah. um so i've yeah. been that person though yeah it's, it's yeah. really not good what like can that. we do man um, we, we need to save the backs of young people um, we start a Pilates club called yeah. Ab Blaster. Yeah. Welcome all, but just Ab Blaster. Ab Blaster. So like guys are like, yeah, I'm going yeah, Ab Blaster tonight yeah. instead of Pilates. Yeah. Or, or, you know, we try and... Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> you know, like try and actually fix the stereotype. Yeah, and try. <laughs> That's true as well. No, and then we also have an hour nap afterwards to fix yeah. the sleep issue as well. Sure. Just all in one, yeah. fix young, fixing young people. Pilates and nap. PNN. PNN. I yeah. love it. That's a new brand, but... Genuinely, young people need more sleep and they need more core workouts and they need a lot more, yeah, more supplements or more nutrition as well. Yeah. Um, Because food doesn't have that. That's interesting you say that, actually, because a lot of supplement brands, maybe I'd say a fair proportion of the ones we work with as well, um, generally don't aim for young people. It's generally at older people. Yeah. Um, But again, it's. I asked somebody who worked in um, uh, worked in medicine. I was like, hey, uh, I don't know why I said that. He's a doctor. Why would I say he works in medicine? Listen, yeah. I was like, does uh, the Centrum, the all-in-one tablets, yeah. the all-in-one things work? And he's like, yes. Nobody sees results because they only work after you've been taking them for about three months. Sure. You take them daily for three months. You will you will feel a difference. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing. I always buy one pack, 30-day supply, have it for two weeks, then completely forget it. Really, yeah. Um, so I also, uh, yeah. And, but they're not marketed for us. They really are aimed towards mm. people in our sort of age group. But as we just sort of said, I think there is a huge benefit. What makes you it. stop the supplements? Um, I'll tell you what, I, th- I think it's purely um, like habit mm. because I'm asthmatic. I take a purple inhaler every single day. Yeah. Um, and so my best streak was about a month when I kept my inhaler and my tablets in the same time, in mm. the same place. Okay. Uh, the thing I struggle with though is that I do commute to Manchester about. Uh, once or twice a month yeah. and so if I go there for the weekend I don't have any I've toyed about buying a couple bottles so I have yeah. one in my car one in my thing so wherever I am I have access to them um, but just complacency really I th- the thing that worked for me because I was doing exactly the same thing especially when I was at uni such as I set a night time routine yeah um, so, I've heard about people, yeah. people are, sorry people have recommended this yeah thing. exactly I, again I must have read this on one of those how to do things or whatever how to habits yeah. but literally my night routine is I have a pint of water yeah uh, as in I don't got uh, take that all <laughs> sure. day, but pretty much I, sometimes I do mm. uh, and I take my my couple of nutritional tab- uh, supplements there and I don't I don't take the, the chunk that many people do but I take mm. my one multivitamin and I take a uh, omega 3 
mm. capsule. And I do that day and now, and my whole thing is I cannot go to sleep mm. unless I've had that. How um, long have you been doing that for? Six years. Six years? Yeah. Right. And you... With, without fail. Okay. Now, yeah. it's, it's a bit hard to think back to six years and one day ago. Yeah. But would you say it has had any meaningful impact on your life? Yeah, I, I completely agree. The other thing that is, is hard to measure is like... Um, my life before that was obviously a uni when mm. things were here, there and everywhere. So there's a lot of other externalities that could have been at play with my poor lack of sleep and things. Yeah. But I certainly think with my skin, my the way I am, the way I feel, I think things have improved over time. Mm. And it's not the only contributing factor, but definitely. Um, and people have their different weak spots as to what they're looking to improve on. Yeah. Um, but, you know, there's only, like you say, with your, your friend says, there's only so much you can measure, but... At the end of the day, is it going to harm me? Mm. Um, is it costing me an incredible, incredible amount? Well, I'll buy them from Costco, so it's okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, just getting on with it day in, day out, and it's it's, it's working. Yeah. yeah. So that nighttime routine. And I chug that chug that pint of water as well. Mm. So again, you know that in I can be a culprit myself about water in the day. Mm. But at least if I have that one pint, it's not great. People will be like, oh, that's nothing. But at least it's something. Speak to Rennie. She'll tell you you only absorb like 5% of that. Really? Yeah. What? Because I go to before bed. Um, no, I, I, any water that you drink, but your percentage massively increases if you portion it out. The smaller the portion, the greater makes a lot the of portion. sense. Yeah, yeah um, because I, like you, I used to go, ah, oh, I've only drank X amount of water today. I better make up the difference and just go. Yeah, uh, and then like it's true because five minutes later you pee it all. Yeah, out. that's true. It's true. But for some reason during the night, I mm. find myself working different. I don't know. Mm. Um, where in the morning I'm not quite peeing it all out. Uh, considering yeah, I've had that entire pint but no I'll, I'll speak to her about that because yeah. maybe I need to change my one night time routine a little bit mm. on that listen man we, we, we're up to 36 minutes yeah. we, we said we'd keep this at a tight 30 um, but this was a pleasure um, I think I've convinced I'm not entirely convinced on multivitamins yet mm -hmm. but I am convinced I think to go ahead with the aura ring um, okay. so I'll let you know how that goes see yeah. if I can get you on it too mm -hmm. yeah see yeah um, that'll, be, that'll be interesting and what colour do they come in so they come in silver, black, matte black, and gold. Okay. Uh, and Ram, you know me. You know fashion far better than I ever will. What do you think will suit me? What do we got? What do you mean? Uh, what color should I go? If I was to get a ring, it's quite a... You're wearing a black ring? It looks quite similar to that. Uh, not that one. What about your other? No. Okay, so you're black like two... two oh, yeah. So it looks quite similar to that. But I could get it in uh, black, silver, matte black, or gold. I can't do gold, it just doesn't suit me. But black or silver? What are you thinking? Probably black. Yeah? Yeah, I was, yeah, I was gonna say. I was you'd what, say matte that. black or normal black? black? Really? I was thinking matte black. How come I'd have to see matte black. Okay, yeah. I'll show you some. I'll, I'll show you. I don't know, the matte shine matte would be a bit strange, though. It's very hard to capture. You get scratched. That's what I'm also scared of, yeah, but it looks. Stealthy. Surely they would have designed it to be scratch proof, right? Or are these aura uh, guys? They're about sleep, you know what I mean? They're not about. Mm, they're not about design. No, yeah. they're smart guys. Yeah, but yeah. mate, pleasure. Likewise. Um, thank you, you everyone for listening. Uh, if you really enjoyed, or if you kind of like this show today, um, be sure to <laughs> you set the bar. <laughs> no, actually, no, no. Yeah, you know, because I would rather more feedback. Yeah. <laughs> if you kind of like the show, um, or even if you didn't, feel free to drop us a comment. Let us know how you feel, but make sure you like, subscribe, and do whatever you need to do on podcast wherever you're listening. So, thanks for listening. Take it easy. Thank you very much, guys.